YouTube growers and no-till nerds around the world. This is the Rascal Farmer and welcome back to the no-till lab. Just hitting up these pots with a little bit of water. Want to give a big shout out to all my uh, UK viewers and my friends from north of the border. Man, the love you guys are sending back is unbelievable. Well, it is day 48 in the no-till lab. And things are just popping. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen some pictures of these buds that I've been posting. And uh, they are gorgeous. And if you're not following me on Instagram, well, why the hell not? Look, that's I think I'll give a big shout out to Instagram. The grower community on Instagram is unbelievable. I kind of gave up on social media for, oh gosh... I think I quit Facebook in 2012 and pretty much just ditched all of my social media. And when I started my channel back up, I knew I was going to have to get into some social media. And I chose Instagram. And I got to tell you, the number of people on Instagram in the growth community, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So go and check out Instagram, because that's where all the growers hang out. Some of the bud shots are unbelievable. Oh, starting to get some water on the floor. I'm going to have to pull out the wet dry vac and finish up going around the horn here with some water, and then we'll pull that camera in here, and I'll show you what it looks like. I took a picture yesterday, and you know what? I'm just going to throw that up on the screen right now. Hopefully I remember to do that. I came in here with the flash on my iPhone. Oh my goodness. Trichomes just pop. Starting to see some purple on the tops of the cheese. Pistols are turning brown. Green ice the same way. Green ice is turning purple as well. And it still smells like a blueberry. Unbelievable. A little bit of pine coming out. Pining and menthol. Those turps should come out in the end, but right now it's mostly all blueberry. All right, I'm going to pull that water out, pull the water back in here, and grab that wet dry bag, and we'll pull that camera in here. All right. Now I've turned off all of the fans. We're holding at about 77, 9 degrees, and we are at 49% humidity. But I don't want to keep the fans off too long because that's going to skyrocket. But at least we'll come in here and we'll get a look at what's going on. Looking at the cheese that we had stripped in week three, I think that was actually on day 17. Pistols are starting to turn a little orange. Calyxes are swelling. Man, it looks good. You can barely even tell that we stripped these until you kind of get back and look at this one in the corner. Pretty, pretty. Oh, and smells cheesy. Just like an aged white cheddar. This is a gorgeous plant. I like the way it's stacking. Looks good. A little blue dream. Looks good as well. Smells incredible. And then the green ices. Just frosty. And see some purple coming in. That's really cool.
Really smells like blueberry. See if I can get the camera in on this one. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, that is the flower room on day 48. Looking good. What do we got going down here in the soil? Worms. <laughs> Happy worms. What about over in this one? This is where the roly polies hang out. Very cool. All right. Now, let's go walk in and check out the veg tent. Put this in the tripod. Lots of females. Lots of females. Okay, in the corner, the back corner is a cheese, and we know that's a female because that's a clone. And then we've got a ninja fruit, and then you can see, let me see if I can zoom in on that one, because I actually super cropped some of these ninja fruits. And I should have shown you that. But the process when you super crop is you just pinch right there, that branch that's pinched over. Let me get this right off the tripod and see if I can get in there. See how those branches are pinched over? You just kind of take your thumbnail underneath and kind of pinch it until you feel the branch kind of basically crush. And then you just kind of bend it over. And that's going to heal right up. And you can already see that those branches are already curled back up towards the light. And what that's going to do is help to slow those down and level out the tops of these plants. And I super cropped most of those ninja fruits. That one there, I went to super crop it. <laughs> and I didn't pinch it and crush it. I popped it right off. So I just took off the one on the other side and leveled it up. And then I super crop the next two branches, and that's going to bush up real nice. So I have got, let's throw this back on the tripod again, crazy females. I have got, obviously the cheese is a female, because that's a clone. I've got the blue dream and the two green ices, and those were clones as well. But in the back corner, I've got a ninja fruit female, another ninja fruit female, another ninja fruit female, a code black female, another code black female. And then this one here is a code black female as well. So I've got out of the, out of the uh, ones, that the ninja fruits, I've got three females. I've got three females in the code black. Um, and I've got a code black male and a ninja fruit male. And that leaves one of the code blacks and one of the ninja fruits that's still not identified. I think they're leaning towards the male. And then obviously I don't know what any of the uh, five, four, fives are. That's still undecided because they're still, I mean, you can't sex that plant. <laughs> it's too small. So, and then obviously the other ones in here, I've got the two green cracks. 
and we know those were fems. So everything is looking healthy. Just love the way that code black is looking. Man, looks good. And that one right there in front, that bushy one, that is a green crack, and that might be the nicest looking plant in this whole room. Let me see if I can. I am going to take the focus and lock the focus so that it doesn't focus on me. There. Let's see if I can pick that up. Look at how bushy that thing is. What an incredible plant. Man, really, really good. So, bedroom is looking up. Man, awesome. Very cool. Could not be happier with this. I could be happier with the fact that I still don't have a greenhouse up. We had rain for half the day today, um, but we, my buddy and I got together and we made up our material list, and I'm going to pick up the stuff this weekend, and then we will have that thing built next week. So I was planning to go into the ground this coming weekend, but that is not going to happen. That will happen on probably, well, hopefully, the following weekend, and uh, that's the same time that I've got to harvest the room, at least scheduled to harvest the room next door. So busy, busy, busy. That gives me two weeks to dry that pot in there, and then we've got Clio for the Midwest Cup in Michigan. So looking forward to taking some of the green ice to the Cannabis Cup. All right, guys, well, let's go outside and uh, take a look at the other greenhouse, and uh, we'll see what's going on in the upper greenhouse. Well, here we are in the upper greenhouse, looking at the plants here. We're going to give them some water. I'm going to do some sexing. Got Rascal Farmer Dog looking out. Keeping guard. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to give these things some water. And then I'm going to take a good look at them, and we'll see if we can't pull them up here. Take a look at them. I'm going to go through and make sure that what he's identified as sexes are correct. And I've got my markers, and we're going to do some more checking on these. So let me pull them up. Lots of super lemon haze. And that's another female. that over here on this side. And I just gave him some water. They are healthy, healthy. You can definitely tell sativa. The sativa in here should be super lemon haze. And then the indicas are either going to be AK-47 or black cherry soda. And I'm sure that this one here, this looks exactly like my AK-47 that I grew last year. That's a female. A little pucker on the leaves. A little bit of shock from coming out here. Super lemon haze. But not much. They look good. AK-47 male. That is a super lemon haze male. Look how bushy that thing is. What a gorgeous plant. Man, he did a good job. For a first run, vegging out some plants, are you kidding me? I have paid way good money for worse plants than this. 
little bit of burn there. That's from the lights. God, he vegged these all out under a 400 watt metal halide. You can see a little bit of pucker on this one. This one's got a little bit more stress than the rest, a little bit of yellowing at the top. Thank God it's been overcast the last couple days and they've kind of gotten used to it. But man, these are going to bounce right back. Incredible. Incredible. So it looks like we got the females on the left and the males on the right. Except for this one here. That's a green ice. That is gorgeous. Very, very nice. This weekend, four of these females will get picked and go in the 45-gallon pots, and the rest of them are going to get transplanted, I think, into 15s. Very cool. Very nice. All right, guys, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you right here next time in the No-Till Lab. I'm the Rascal Farmer. Now get out there and go grow something. Like pot plants. Lots of them. It's just weed.